Right, first things first, before we get into it, we need a nickname for these two. If they're going to work as a collective, what do you reckon? Put it in the comments. Any suggestions from the floor? No, no nothing YouTube. at all. Yeah. Right then, we'll leave it to you, YouTube. Nickname for these two. Keep it nice and sweet, because they are nice and sweet. So, how about nice and sweet? <laughs> Maybe not. All right, end the YouTube, over to you. Just making decent progress, knocking the uh, ceilings down from up inside the loft, smashed them down, and we found what has got to be one of the biggest coincidences we've ever found. This week is Jubilee week. It's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It's Tuesday of that week. And the only magazine up here, there's loads of carpets, there's loads of architectural drawings, but there's, apart from that, it's, it's clear. And there's one magazine up here, and I've just uncovered it. Check that out. How's that for a coincidence? The Sunday Times special pull-out was a proper magazine, actually. A pictorial record of the Queen's Silver Jubilee celebrations, 1977. There you go. How's that for coincidence? Probably worth a bit. It's in pristine condition. There you have it. Yeah. That's about as exciting as it gets, isn't it, Mick? Yeah. <laughs> I've altered my straps. Oh, well done. That was fairly thrilling. There, there you go. Excellent. See, it's getting better. Right, see you in a bit. And here it is. Jubilee 1977. Oh, there she is, look. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Beautiful. Pristine condition. Bloody hell. Let's let herself go there. Well, she pulled it back in the end. Fair play to that. Uh, there you have it. Right then, get on with it. Fucking Jesus, that was close. Is that? Mick's there doing a fine job at demonstrating. Give it another sweep, Mick, just so uh, show people show people how easy it is to sweep on that now. This is the reason why we put the plastic down really, it's just so easy to, 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 to keep up. Yeah, go for it. There you are look. So be able to get a load of that up. It's gonna be a load easier to clean up all like that. Right then, on to the next job. Right then, half two. All the ceilings are down. As you can see, a few discoveries. But we're all right, really quite easy. The, uh, the, the, this house hasn't been touched, so there's, there's barely any lights. It's next to nothing going on, so just a case of ripping it down. What we have found, which may create a bit of work, but ultimately is going to make our life easier. I'll show you now. This wall. This is what I was talking about earlier, is that this wall here is to be taken out to the top of the stairs with a door there. It's all extended out, so we were going to come off this wall here straight across. But, look at these blocks here, I don't know if you can see that, if you can focus. They're only about 50mm wide, those are. So, we can't build some of that thin off it, so what we may as well do is to take it out, it's not doing anything. But certainly won't by the time we put our new floor in anyway. Our new structure for the floor of the loft. So we'll get rid of that I think in its entirety and then just start again. It's gonna be a load, load easier. The one issue we have got is that as I say it's half two and there's no skip so we've created a bit of a mess. Dan's in there doing the best he can tidy up but 
mix on top of it down there, but we'd obviously want to get all this in the skip for today, but I don't think that's gonna happen, so we'll try our best. I don't think that's gonna happen, so we'll try our best. Right, morning everybody. Here we are, day three. That's already here, opened up for us. We'll show you what the plan of attack is for today. Oh, look. No ceilings. Beautiful. Right then. The skip is here now. It came late yesterday afternoon, so we've got we've got it partially filled with the stuff that we, we chucked out the window. So that's just to go in. Horrible stuff. Um, the rest of the plasterboard needs to be taken down. And then our main objective for today is, if I take you into this room, so because it's only a clinker block and it isn't structurally integral because we're replacing all these timbers anyway to form our structure for the loft, we may as well get rid of that wall in its entirety to save messing around with it at a later date. Then, the surface mounted plugs then can go because there's no room inside to fit in this wall to fit a back box. So that can all go in the wall then and it'll all be much better. So we're going to take that wall down and under that theory, morning Michael, that wall is the same because that wall's been extended to there with a doorway going in there, this area. That's a, again, that's a clinker block, that's only 50 mil thick. So what we may as well do is um, to save putting a door in that and then trying to find a lining that will fit and too thin and all that malarkey, rubbish. Plus it's got to be fire doors because of the loft, so it's all going to be thicker stuff anyway. So uh, get rid of it. We're just going to get rid of it in its entirety um, to this point and then build a new wall across here at a later date once all the ceiling's been sorted. So that's our objective for today. Stick around and we'll see how we get on. Got back from seeing another job. Had to fill the skip. Maybe it's nice and tidy. But who has filled the skip? I hear you say. Who has filled the skip? Uh, Look who's back! <laughs> Face of the <laughs> channel! <laughs> Woo! Say hello to your fans. My fans, no, your fans, not mine. No, no, no it's, it's, it's either you or Rich. It's, it's, it's always been you. You are the face. <laughs> I'm the face, am I? Mm. Rich is fans. Rich is fans. Rich is fans. <laughs> right, yeah, there we go. Look who's gone all shy. Look, no. Oh, oh these one little squeeze little cheeks. <laughs> right, these clinker box. Clinker box? Clinker blocks. Just talking about. That's it. That's all they are, and that is. Yeah, 60 mil. 60 mil plus the plaster each side. It's the original plaster as well, so it's not plasterboarded. So if we were to build off that, as I was explaining before, and keep it all flush on the other side, just uh, stop talking, just get rid of it, start again. Just gotta go back in the same place. So. Right, we'll do that now. Then, end of the day, and I'm going to show you what I can do now, what I couldn't do before. I can walk out the bedroom, straight into the toilet, through the wall, into the little bedroom, through the wall, and there we go. Didn't take too long at all. This skip is as full as I can get it. And I can fill a skip, so let me tell you that it's completely full. So that is it. That is today's tasks done. And there we have it. Successful day. One thing that we did do today is we looked at the structural drawings, um, how many steels have to go in the roof and whatnot uh, to, well, to form the, the structure of the actual uh, the, the floor of the loft. 
In fact, I'll turn you around and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So what we've got here is, I'll get me, get me pointer out. We've got two huge purlins that go the entire width of the house. Um, there's the second one going across that way. And they're only supported twice. This one's got a timber structure there, uh, support there off this, because that's been hacked. It's been hacked at. It must have gone in, bowed or something, they've had to hack at it with what looks like a seven newton block to get it flat, but there we go. Anyway, uh, so it's supported there, and at some point in the past, it's been taken out, that one has been replaced with brick. The reason why I don't think that's original is because on this side, there's two timber ones, so three out of four are timber, so I'm going with timber. Anyway, two supports, and the roof's never moved, it's perfect. Now, the structural engineer wants us to do um, this. In fact, yes, I'll show you. I'll put the plans up now and I'll talk you through it. This is a drawing that we've been given by the structural engineer. This is page one of about a 25 page document, something like that. So, now I can't get a, a, a cursor on this or, or draw on it to, to show you what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm going to have to zoom in and hopefully you'll be able to stay with me on it. Now the bottom of your screen is the back of the house, top of your screen is the front of the house. So as you can see we've got steels here from the column one there in the blue numbered uh, up to beam two up to beam five but there's more than five steels up here. I'll just explain what's going on. So what the structural engineer has specified is that if we look at the bottom of your screen, the bottom left hand side, beam three. Beam three goes onto a pad stone into the gable wall, spans across the stairs onto this load bearing wall here where it bolts into, that's what that green oval denotes, beam five. So that's two steels bolted together that span the entire width of the house. So that's that doubled at the front of the house. As you can see, it's there again, beam three into beam five so that's four steels already and then 90 degrees to the beam three you've got beam two again that's doubled because it's the same at the other side of the house beam two between at this point beam five so we're up to six steels now and then off beam two you've got the columns which go vertically off beam two and hold our ridge plate Average beam, I beg your pardon. Again, that's doubled at the other side that you can see. So that is now a two, four, six, we're up to eight steels now. And then we've got the ridge beam, which I won't show the drawing for that, but it's just a ridge beam, it's a standard thing. But that's then spliced into three. So that's another three steels that we've got a manhandle up there. So now we're up to, let's have a recount, two, four, six, eight, that's 11, 11 steels. And that's without beam four. Now we're not too sure what beam four is for. So it comes this one here at the at the left hand top left hand side of the screen goes into a, onto a pad stone into the front of the house and then onto this load bearing wall here. That's between the bathroom and the bedroom. Now and then again, there's one just there, another beam four there. Now we think that maybe the structural engineer thinks that we've got to build off this to form our walls in the loft, but it's unnecessary because, well, we think it's unnecessary because surely there are only stud walls in, in the loft. So I'm hoping that maybe we could replace beam four with a, a double joist or maybe even a triple joist if the building inspector will allow us and then do our walls off that. So that's one of the aspects that we want to talk to the building inspector for uh, on Monday to formulate a plan where we can rejig this and make it a little bit more user friendly. It's all very well being on a page like this, but in reality, that's difficult and it might be overkill. So, even if it means we've got to get some other drawings respect um, off, a, off, a, off the structural engineer, if the building inspector is happy with a certain plan, we'll get them respect and then 
we can hopefully get rid of a few of these steels and rejig it a little bit. So that's the reason that we want one of these visits from the build inspector. So we'll uh, see what they say and then we'll get back to you. Right then, back over to me. So in the real world, in, in the real world, that means that there is. I don't know, I mean, do we count ten steels or something? We got a uh, steel, all be in two parts, but that goes the complete width of the house under that purling. The same under this purling, and then that, that purling supported off that steel, and then between those two steels, then from there to there, all these steels are in um, ceiling height or loft floor height, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, the steel then goes from that point to this point where the steel comes across. It gets bolted into that one there. And then a column, vertical column off that steel goes to the ridge. And then the ridge beam sits on that. And then that is doubled. That happens again the other side. So there's a lot of steels to go in. But my query is that... This back is being one huge dauber. So do we need the steel here to support that purling when that purling won't be there? It will cease to exist. Front one will, back one won't. That structure will come off the front of this house, this wall here, and then up to the ridge beam. So we've got to query that. So to query that, what we've done is... Uh, I've had a word with the building inspector and asked if they can come out at the earliest opportunity. It's Bank Holiday Week now, so it's, uh, it'll be on Monday that they're going to come. To have what the lady called on the phone, very poshly, um, I like the sound of it, a pre-commencement consultation, which is ace. So we're getting the building inspector on board from day one, not literally. Uh, to go through everything, uh, show him the drawing, show him the structural plan and to see if there's any alterations that we can make to make things easier for us because the problem with these structural plans is they always tend to go above and beyond and the steels tend to be huge and just massive and heavy and lots of them. Is there any way we can actually practically scale that back um, to make it obviously sound structure but easier for us? So we're going to Pick their brains when they arrive on Monday and then we'll formulate a plan and then we'll stick to that plan and then that building inspector can inspect us throughout the build that he's also um, not so much specified but sort of um, recommended and it'll just help uh, aid a easier, the easier relationship going forward so that's um, that's the plan. So yes, so um, right, until tomorrow, see you soon. Morning everybody. Lovely day, look at that. Today's Thursday. Got the selfie stick out. I've refrained from using one up to now because I thought it looked stupid. But then I've had the epiphany that when you've got an airport like mine, I walk around looking stupid anyway, so here we are. Oh. Oh yeah. Look who's here. New boy Dan, say hello Dan. Alright. Old boy Luke, we all know Luke, don't we? Face of the channel. There we go. Right, let's turn around and I'll show you what our plan is for today. Right. All this insulation is going to get bagged up or being banged up. Banged up? Bagged up as we speak. Lads are all masked up doing that. And we are... I managed to find the world's smallest bin liner for him as well, just so it's... Uh, just give it entertaining for him. And then this, I checked the plans. All that, this entire wall is coming out. Cupboards, uh, cupboard, wardrobe, it's all going. Which will only leave us then with this wall here. So that wall basically, that wall here, where are we? This wall is this deep there. So we'll, uh, we'll get all that out, get the old time lapse on the go. And then we'll be fully stripped out then, ready? Right then, let's get started. Okay, they're done well, all bagged up, excellent. Apart from their music choice, everything went well. So, now I'll set you up and we'll knock this out.
Right. Skips here. These pair are eagerly waiting to fill it. They can't wait. Look at them. Like a pair of seagulls when a bag of chips been opened. Cannot wait. Right then, I'll just show you where we're up to in terms of discovery and plans and whatnot. Let's just turn the radio off so YouTube don't get there. Don't get their cut of absolutely nothing. Um, this this area here, this raised box here, creates the head height here. So that's the floor. If you can get your head around that. That's the floor there. Look at that little box area there. So that one's not too bad. So that, as you can see, I've I've gone through a bit there on the uh, on the stairs, so that might have to stay. This wall, all this is timber, as you can see on plasterboard and other fat lot. But this is brick, so I'm presuming there's going to be a lintel across here. So that wall, that wall's got to stay, which isn't a big deal whatsoever. Uh, but the only consideration is that where this box comes down to there, that is that point there. Now if I turn you around, I'll show you why that's a bit of an issue. So, I'm walking down the stairs. In fact, I'll show you like this. So here, that's my head height here. That's the bit, that's the brick wall. That's the one that can't be moved. All right, so that's a bit, that's hollow, that's solid. That's a bit of a, so it is what it is. We, we'll, we'll come to that in later. But this one, is all stood. That is just as bad luck. So yeah, I'm probably having to duck. I'm, I'm, I'm no giant, you know what I mean? So, but we might be able to do something with that. Because this area will be under the stairs going into the loft. So we might be able to raise that up. The stairs going up like this. We're going to get rid of that. Maybe do something with this ceiling right here. There's possible scope to make that a bit better. But as you can see, Walking down these stairs, it's not, you know, it's not the, it ain't the easiest. And I'm not the most tallest person in the world, so. But there we go. So what I'm gonna do then, what that means is we are, I'm gonna leave this in for now. And I'm going to take out that now. And then, that's really, that's all the, that's all the ripping out done then. Then we're, leave them pairs to fill the skip. And I'll go back up to the Harborn job and see how she's getting on. So, yeah, right then. Thank you. See you in a bit. Right, that's it. End of the week. Well, end of Thursday anyway. Jubilee week, so. Bank holiday and all that. Having tomorrow for the kids. Looking forward to that, so. That's basically week one done then. Ceilings are all down, walls are down. That's our second skip. Neatly packed. Come all this way now, through the cupboard. This wall's down. All gone. I'm not going to denail any of the timbers because the timbers are all going. That would just be silly. So, all these little bits of plaster and whatnot, and I'm not going to be too fussed about them because they'll come off when they. Uh, when the timbers come down, toilet's gone. Brave if I want to use that one. And there we have it. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm going to see Liam at Nebworth on Saturday. Looking forward to that. So, yeah, take care, be safe. Still can't believe we found that. Little things, simple minds, eh? Right then. Okay, take care everybody, bye bye.